Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. I got a new favorite tool from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight has been a huge part of my success as a woodworker, as a maker for quite a long time. The first power tool that I bought was a used table saw. The first new power tool that I bought was their 14 inch bandsaw. And I had that for a couple years and I sold it because I thought I needed a name brand. So I sold it to a friend and got a Grizzly 14 inch and it turns out it was basically the same saw. I have been collecting their F-style clamps for a long time. I've probably got 20 of them in here and then I've got more in a drawer over there because these guys, I don't know what they are, maybe $2.99, $3.99, but they come in so handy and they're so useful and none of them have broke in the six, seven, eight years that I've been using them. As far as current Harbor Freight power tools in the shop, I'll take you over to my sanding station. This right here is my 12 inch disc sander from Harbor Freight. It is the oldest tool that I have in my shop. I've had it for a long time. It's gone through three different shops of mine. Unfortunately, after six years, seven years, I'm not sure exactly, um, it doesn't power up all the way. I can actually, we think it's a very simple fix. Jeremy Felding uh, had a video on, um, what's it called, a clutch uh, that turns on the startup. startup capacitor down below. He's got a video on, on replacing this or cleaning this, this, this piece, and that's probably the issue there. So it's a really simple fix, and this guy will be back up and running. But I do think I'm going to upgrade this sander. After all of these years, I found that this aluminum table it's not very heavy. So when you have a big piece, it can vibrate a little bit. So I do think I'm going to upgrade to the Grizzly that has a miter uh, slot going this way and also one this way. And it's got a big old cast iron table and that's what I want. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe give it to Dan. And then the other Harbor Freight tool that I have here in the shop is the spindle sander. I've had it almost as long as the disc sander. It runs flawlessly. Harbor Freight has been a huge part of me getting to where I am right now, but I've got a new favorite tool from them. It's in the truck. I was at Harbor Freight picking up some things for the go-kart and I saw this guy loading up this other customer's truck and he lifted up his order with this foot powered table lift thing. And I was like, what is that? Do you sell it? And he's like, of course we do. So I immediately got one. This is upside down, but it is the Pittsburgh hydraulic table cart. This one is a 500 pound capacity. Spoiler alert, I've already got one, but I need, wanted to get a second one and show you guys how cool this thing is. This is not sponsored by Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight doesn't sponsor anybody. This is just a tool that I really love and it might be useful for you. I'm gonna show you a couple of cool things that you can do with it, especially if you're a woodworker and you're dealing with heavy tools. It's just a cool little utility thing to have in the house. I'm, I'm basically a one man show at the, at the go-kart races. And so I use it to lift up my go-kart to work on it. So we're gonna open this up, we're gonna put it together if there's any putting together to be done, and then we're gonna chop it up and modify it. Dan, do you think people are gonna be like, will you just skip to the part and tell us about your favorite tool and stop giving us this bullshit story about blah, 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 blah? Sponsored. Unsubscribe. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you wanna skip ahead to the part where I talk about the lift, you wanna be right here. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my, oh, this is, this is the thing that drives me absolutely bonkers. So it comes with this bolt. The head size in this bolt is a different head size than this other one. Why? Check this out. Still going up. There we go. That's, that's its max height right there. And then it's got a couple safety bars just in case. And uh, the wheels lock. But 
This would have been so handy when we got that new drill press and I tried to lift it up onto the table by itself. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, gosh. Oh, please. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, Dan, I really need your help. I really need your help. Stop lifting things, people. Wear a mask and stop lifting things. This, this is just gonna make life so much easier, moving things around. It's got the nice swivel casters on there that are currently locked. There we go. And uh, here's the release handles right here. Does take a little bit to go back down. Oh, we got the safety bars in there. So this was uh, $179 at Harbor Freight. That's a good amount of money. Super well worth it for me. They have a bigger one that holds a thousand pounds, but this is all I needed. I'm going to modify this into a cart stand. So when I go cart racing, I'm a one man show and I need a way to lift up my cart to work on it. I need a way to lift it up to get it into the truck. Now, typically, most people have a cart stand like this. It's on wheels, you can move the cart around, but it takes two people to get that on the stand. That one is $289. They do have a one-man cart stand that's motorized. And what is that, Dan? $829. So both of those, and that only takes one person. This one, that takes two people to get it up there. For $179 minus the coupon code that I used, like this will be better than both of those. I'm a one man show. I can get my card up here with one man, me. That concludes what my new favorite tool is from Harbor Freight. The rest of this video is going to be modifying this, chopping it up, welding, doing some crazy things to make it into a one man cart stand. So some of you are out of here. I'll see you later and some of you are gonna stick around and have some fun. First thing I wanna do is get this handle out of here. I don't need this handle, it is in the way. So I'm gonna chop these guys off down here and then I'm going to remount this down here so I can take this handle and put it down here. I've got my sanding disc in there and I'm just grinding that down flat. So now, if I weld this onto there, this, ah, that's hot. We will just weld it right there, and then this handle will go in like so, and it should just miss the foot pump. So the next thing I want to do is a lot of times when I'm at the races and I'm in the pits, I need to roll this around and I'm in grass and it's got little casters on there. I want to chop those off and put on some bigger wheels. I don't want to raise the overall height of this at all because the taller this is, the harder it is for me to get the cart on here and these wheels are bigger. If I just weld a plate on here, and then these can screw on there, the height does not change one bit. And then it kind of spreads the wheels out, which I would, you know, distributes the weight a little bit better. What is that, one eighth, three sixteenths? Piece of sheet metal, I'm gonna cut some rectangular squares out of that. Uh, I'm gonna clamp this down. Uh, I got this new clamp. This is, this guy, this company sent me some clamps. Check this out, it's kind of it's kind of cool. I'm gonna work with them more in the future and we'll talk about them more in the future, but you can use an impact driver, wrench, or a drill to close them and open them. While we are working on this car, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor and that is Squarespace. Squarespace has been a huge part of my success with this channel and as a woodworker. When I first started as a woodworker, I was selling my stuff at craft shows to help me pay for the tools and to get the supplies that I needed. 
And on my business cards, I had my website on the bottom there where they could go and check out more, they could contact me, they could get a hold of me about custom pieces. And that website has always been Squarespace, even before they were a sponsor. And Squarespace can help you succeed in whatever you're doing or just help you get the word out there let people know what you're doing how they can contact you i no longer take custom orders and i haven't done a craft show in a couple years but how i use squarespace now is i sell merch i sell plans to the stuff that i'm making in some of these videos i've written a couple books and i use that to sell the book so we can sell both physical and digital items on squarespace and I also use my website to highlight some of the videos that we've done here. So Squarespace has been a huge part of my success even before this was my business. We all have our social media feeds where we like to post photos of things that we make and you can bring those right into Squarespace automatically so your site is always staying fresh. Not only is my website through Squarespace, but I purchased my domain directly through Squarespace and I have an email newsletter that I put out every week and that all goes through Squarespace. And if you've never made a website before, don't be intimidated. They've got beautiful templates to get you up and running. Drop your logo in there, drop in some photos, write some things, you're good to go. So go to squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash make something for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So thank you Squarespace for being a huge part of my success and thank you for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to this Harbor Freight cart lift. Cool, so we have the mounts for the two front swivel casters done and that'll just bolt in right there. I did notice that when that turns, it's going to knock into this piece right here. So later on, I'm going to angle grind that out to remove that so this can freely swivel. So I basically just gotta do the same thing again for the back for the non-swivelly feet. No. We can bolt all these wheels on there. I got that little bit cut off right there so that spins freely. Looking good. And I'll start lifting. But what I want to do is I want to weld something on here and here and here and here to catch the crossbar. so it doesn't slide like that. I was at the tractor supply store and I found this and it was labeled pipe gate clamp. What I'm thinking is I can cut these and then I can have four little saddles that should cup and cradle and love the frame of the chassis. So this has turned out to be a fun little clamp and especially when you have your clutch set on your driver. super fast. So now I can cut that down. So if you weld galvanized steel, make sure you're outside or there's some good airflow or you have a respirator on. Those crevices are a little bit harder. You got to get some more wire out there. They don't look pretty, but it is definitely going to work. So let's go test this out with the cart. Work on that one just a little bit. It wants to catch right there. I can just file that down. This is my knee pad, which is going to make a sacrifice because I, instead of scratching up the frame and to take out some of the little wobble in there, just add in this one piece. Really stiffened, like, it did, its, it, did, it did what you think it's going to do. So I think I'm going to line all four of them with some of this stuff. I don't know how to glue it on there yet though. Mind you, this doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to work. Goes right there. There we go. Oh, that's great. The one man cart stand was 800 and some dollars. This was less than 200. And we got to have fun making it. Just throw that up there. 
and kick that out. Check this out. Dan fixed the disc sander. So while I was welding earlier, Dan, he fixed it. Was it, was it the problem that we thought it was? He's shaking his head yes. So that wraps it up. Um, it's time to take that thing to the races. We're gonna do some more go-kart vlogs later in the year. And um, hopefully one of these days I can take Dan out with me and he can help me film. Um, I'm racing this weekend. I'm not gonna do a vlog this weekend uh, cause this weekend it's gonna be about me. But, uh, so thank you for tagging along. That was a really long winded way of saying that lift is my new Harbor Freight tool, but it actually is, it's really cool. Really could have used it while trying to get some of these tools up on the benches. If uh, you know, you're, you're a one person show in the shop, it could really save your back. So that is it. That wraps it up. We'll see you next week with a brand new project. Oh, we got to talk about this. It does not wrap it up. We have the drawers for this project. You guys have left over 480 comments, giving me suggestions. So we are, we're working on this and I'm going to take your suggestions and make the case for this. So thank you for that. If you have no idea what I'm talking about again, Link in the D. That wraps it up. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something. Ah, oh, I feel good. It worked out great.